Well, what do you have to say about all this? Comedy life, bro. Hey. Milwaukee. We did it. Now let's drive nine hours. Bye. Andy Bauman, Val Porter, Bill Crawford, welcoming uh, Aaron Kleiber to the show. Aaron performing at the Carnegie Music Hall of Homestead tomorrow night. I don't feel that special, yeah. you know what I mean, uh, attached to that, but because uh, I just, you know, I'm just a dad from Homestead. I was a bad kid, and I started going to youth group with some friends. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to like explain it, but I saw them going places with girls. And I literally was like, where are you guys going? Youth group? Yeah, I'll go to youth group. I found something that I could put my energy to instead of stealing things from places and like, you know what I mean? It was like positive energy. It became a thing where I was, you know, working with kids and I started working at these camps with at-risk youth. And I always saw it like that was me. You know what I mean? So if I can make these kids laugh and forget their life where they grew up, where I grew up, you know, the projects or whatever, like it was awesome. I remember in sixth grade uh, uh, that a kid named Rumpy, kids in sixth grade already have badass, like, you know, bouncer names. And I remember just being like a little, you know, just being like, hey, I'm funny, I'm a funny kid, <laughs> you know? And Rumpy punched me in the face. He knocked me out like a grown man. Now, as a child, I have been knocked out by a grown man, uh, but I was like, oh, Hmm, that's close. That's, that punch was close enough to my grown stepdad. That was, okay, I'm not gonna mess with these kids. And I started being funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, uh, first of all, I just wanna say thank you so much, everyone that's here. If I can see you, thank you so much. If I can't see you, you're probably doing something even more important. You're all doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Jeez. My biological father wasn't around. So it was just my mom and I living with my grandma. And my mom met like, uh, you know, knight in shining armor, a, a guy that had some money, worked in construction, and it was horrendous abuse. I mean, I've witnessed things happen to my mother and myself, and it was terrible. Fourth grade, I mean, I went to like four different schools because we lived in the Pittsburgh Women's Shelter. Every place I lived as a kid in elementary school, he's kicked down the door. Like we were never safe. I've worked with Bobcat Goldthwaite, and he made a film with Barry Crimmins about his horrendous abuse. Just talking to Barry, because he's one of the most honest comedians in history. I mean, he'll, he'll talk about anything. He just basically said, like, you're going to talk about it when you're ready. And I'm like, you're right. Like, I, I have no problem talking about it, but I just haven't figured out how to make that part of my story on stage. Now I'm just a slapsticky swearing dad, laughing about my son peeing all over the floor of a restaurant. That's what's funny in my life right now. So when I run out of material with my kids, maybe I can talk about me not being a kid. <laughs> I'm enjoying what I'm doing now as a father and a husband, and I'm having a blast, and it's basically going on stage and sharing that. Like my biggest priority was just to be the best husband and dad I can be because I've never had that.